Lord, you are spirit, and we worship you in spirit and in truth. And right now, as we come together as a fellowship around the world, Lord, we come together just to bask in your presence, to bask in your love, to bask in the anointing as a fellowship, Lord, where two or more are gathered in your name. You are in the midst, Lord. And right now, as we move the worship, Lord, we leave the world at the door right now. We leave the world at the door as we enter into your presence, Lord. As we enter into worship. As we enter into rest. Because as your word says, come to me, all ye who labor and are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. So right now, Father God, out of obedience, we're resting. We're walking in obedience and resting in your unconditional love. Resting in your peace beyond understanding. Resting in your anointing that destroys every yoke. We just say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us into what you need us to be today, Lord. Every day, have your way in every way. And right now, we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence and say, use me, Lord. Use me as you see fit for the kingdom. We take every worry, every stress, every fear, every anxiety, every struggle, every attack, every infirmity, whatever's heavy on your mind right now, heavy on your heart right now. Take it and lay it on the altar right now. Lay it on the altar and give it to the Lord. That's why we call this Give it to Lord Thursday. Whatever's trying to steal your joy or your peace of mind, take that thing right now and lay it on the altar. And as you lay it on the altar, what do you do? Let go. That's right. That's right. Lay it on the altar and let go. Let go and let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden mover, the yoke destroyer, the way maker, the mountain mover, the door opener, the great physician, the strong tower in each of our lives, whose hand we never let go, Lord. We never ever let go of your unchanging hand. You're the same yesterday, today, forevermore. You are the air we breathe. As a deer panteth for the water, so our soul longs after you, Lord, every single day. We inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. With God all things are possible. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. 
those who wait on the Lord gain strength. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. Oh Lord, we feel the weight lifting right now. We feel your presence right now. Your unconditional love. We feel the anointing flowing right now. The anointing that destroys every yoke is flowing right now. Receive it. Receive a fresh anointing right now. Always remember, whenever you come into the presence of the Lord, receive a fresh anointing for that day. It's available every day. So why not get a fresh anointing every day? Let's say it together. I receive a fresh anointing right now in the name of Jesus. I receive a fresh anointing right now in the name of Jesus. Anointing for healing. Anointing for breakthrough. Deliverance. Healing. Provision. Direction. Protection. Whatever it is you need. It's available right now. In the anointing. Soak in it. Bask in it. Rest in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. As we're in your presence, Lord, as we seek your face every day, Lord, we do our best, Lord, every single day to walk in your will, to walk in your way, to do the best we can to keep living by the word. Yes, Lord. Living by the word. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
living by the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is real. God is so real to each one of us. The only reason we're all here right now is because God has been so real to each one of us here right now at this point in time.
Just you and me, Lord. Just you and me. It's not about family, not about friends. It's about you and me. Only you can give me the peace I seek. The joy I'm trying to find. Just you and me. Right now, Father God. Give me straight, Father God. Right now, I'm talking to the person listening. And you've been here the whole time. And you heard the praise and the worship and the jazz and the sermon and good the kingdom business. But right now, you can't connect because right now, your life is falling apart. Worry, fear, stress, anxiety, darkness is all over you. Families turned away from you. Friends stab you in the back. And you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now. Yet somehow, you find yourself on this channel, have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. You're not here by accident. God brought you here because God sees what you're going through right now, physically, spiritually, emotionally. That's why you're here. You may be used a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back to sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world. And now the devil's telling you once you leave God or fail God, you can't go back. And that right there is a lie from the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said the prayer of salvation, and fell back to sin, there's nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life, recommit your life to Christ, and there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So whether you're walking right now as a backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, or right now your life is filled with darkness and depression, hopelessness and fear, or you just don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, either way, Pray with me. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe He died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior and I commit right now I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life. But I'll lift it up to you first. Create in me, O oh Lord, a clean heart and remove me anything and everything that's not like you. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is in the right to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us to teach us, to guide us, and also convict us when you're not one God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And they'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time with God. Feed your spirit. Starve your flesh. Feed your faith. Starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you will feel in your life. Which is God letting you know it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit, name it unnamed, seen or unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. And we cast all you demonic spirits out of a mind, out of a spirit, out of a home, out of a kids, out of marriages, back to the pit hill from which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, 
loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy, loose peace beyond understanding, loose restoration, Lord, restore, restore every area of our life, Lord. Loose reconciliation, Lord, bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil attack, Lord. And Lord, please give a hedge of protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your stripes, we'll be healed, Lord. And we confess it, Lord. We confess it every day. I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. Every day, confess it and thank him. Confess it and thank him every day. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Loose. Supernatural overflow. Financial breakthrough, supernatural debt cancellation. Lord, let your blessings, your blessings of abundance, Lord, rain down, Lord, rain down on first every financial need, whatever it is, for you to supply all our need according to your riches in glory for Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want for anything. The Lord is my shepherd. For the head, and not the tail. We're above and not beneath. We're the lender and not the borrower. We're blessed going in and blessed going out. We're blessed that we may be a blessing to others. We are out of debt. All of our needs are met. We are put in order, put in store. We are children of God and nothing shall by any means hurt us or block our blessings in any way. And finally, Lord, finally, we thank you for our miracle, Lord. Each person in here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know, Lord. Now we know every day we take time, every day to see it. Visualize your miracle every day. See it, believe it, and receive it in your heart. And as you receive it into your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when. But because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up, any day could be a day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you and keep you family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his face a divine approval upon you and give you peace. That you may be a blessing to everyone you touch or speak to, a blessing to everyone you pray over, a blessing to everyone you pass by and bless with our open your mouth because our love and light of the Lord is all over you 24-7, 365, including leap year. So Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask, in Jesus' name we pray, the fellowship say amen, amen, amen. <laughs>